So you think about starting a YouTube channel or you already started a YouTube channel, but here's the thing, uh, you are finding it difficult to find or to get 100 subscribers to your channel. Of course, we've all been there. I've been there. And I'm going to tell you how I got my first 100 subscribers. So let's hop in. Welcome to another episode of Trust Visions, helping you bring trust to life with visions for your brand. I'm your host, Joe Valle. I'm a personal brand new author, and I'm going to tell you right now how I got my first 100 subscribers. So the concept is really simple. So this is going to be like a pretty short video. You're going to do uh, two things. One is going to sound very obvious. Sorry, sorry for being Captain Obvious, but it's true because sometimes we forget about it. You have to post a lot of videos. And maybe you have heard uh, some YouTube channels saying that, hey, uh, you have to post the, your first 50 videos in order to get your first 100 subscribers. And of course, that is has some modicum of truth. Yes, it's not a guarantee though. I have seen YouTube channels that have posted 200, 300 videos and they still don't have 100 subscribers. But it's an element of it. It's a, it's a tool. You do have to post a lot of videos because yes, you're going to have to rely on YouTube also to get your subscribers. But as I've said before, I don't want to rely on YouTube algorithm to grow my channel. But I do the best practices for that. So what are you going to do? Yes, you're going to be keep focusing on posting a lot of videos at first when you're starting is more a quantity than a quality later you can focus on quality because you're going to learn anyway yourself you're not going to release a first banger of a video it happens but those are outliers if you have never held a camera in your life or if you have not posted a video in your life don't expect that first video to be like a magnificent art piece that's going to change the world. It's not. Odds are, it's not. So focus on posting a lot of videos. Don't worry too much about the quality of it. That will come over time. So now that we got that obvious thing out of the way, the other thing that is less obvious is that a lot of content creators just expect YouTube to bring that audience, right? But the best strategy is to bring that audience to yourself. When I started my YouTube channel, of course, I already have like this part time business of uh, shooting uh, personal branding videos for coaches. I was building my portfolio and all that. So I went to meetup groups, live meetup groups. And many of those meetup groups, you know, they give you a microphone to introduce yourself. And then you start telling your story of who you are. And then you start building a network. You start building a network of people and then they'll start asking you questions and organically or naturally, they're going to ask, what do you do? Or what do you do in your spare time? And then you say, hey, I shoot YouTube videos, right? And they're going to say, hey, that's interesting. What's the name of your channel? And then bam, you know, you say, hey, my the name of my channel is Trust Visuals. And then they take out their cell phone and they go find it and then subscribe. A big chunk of my first 100 subscribers was just that. Was just talking about YouTube, going to live events or going to Facebook groups or whatever chance I had to talk about my YouTube channel organically and naturally, I just did because it's going to come natural to talk about your YouTube channel when people ask, what do you do? So go ahead and try to do the same thing. Hey, by the way, for you guys who are interested out there, I'm an introvert. I'm a huge introvert. And I had my way of staying in my room every day for 12 hours straight. It's something, you know, that you do over time. You know, you don't have to like go every day and socialize with people. You know, just do it once a week or once a month, whatever pace is comfortable for you. So yeah, that is the strategy that I did to get to my first 100 subscribers. And uh, now, of course, I use other methods of, you know, like growing an email list and all that. But to get to that holy grail of 100 subscribers, that is mostly what I did. So go out there, promote your channel, use anything that you want to do, you know, use Instagram, uh, use TikTok, or go use, uh, go to live events. That's what I did. And, or go to Facebook groups. That's also what I did. You know, don't be spammy. You know, 
try to do this in a natural way. If you just say, hey, watch this video, you know, people, people don't care. People don't care. You have to bring value first, you know? So, hey, if, if you're scared or, or if you worry about approaching people and, and, and networking, I got you covered. I made a video about how to approach networking. I posted a while before, but it's still useful. Go watch that video uh, so you can start learning those networking skills. I'll see you over there and always remember to enjoy the process in your journey.